everybody, this is Dr. Robert Berger, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, some of the questions that we've been getting on the email, and there have been very good questions, and uh, these questions are very important to answer because there is a lot of misinformation out there, and of course the name of our show is Decoding Health, and so we're going to decode some of the misinformation and bring out what's the truth. And we had an email from uh, Georgia Becker from uh, Missouri. And Georgia represents many, many people that ask these questions about mucin and how it works and you know when it's produced and those kind of questions. It's very important to understand that. Uh, remember, mucin is produced all the time. I mean, mucin is produced when the body really feels or the GI tract feels as though it needs to be lubricated and protected. Now what's happening here is that mucin is produced by a number of cells in the body. I remember uh, in another show we talked about certain cells called goblet cells that run throughout the whole body. And in the stomach we're talking about a cell called gastric gland that actually has four parts to it. It has an epithelial part that protects everything. It's got the mucus neck cell which secretes only mu mucus or mucin, and then below that it has something called the peptic or chief cell that secretes the inactive form of the enzyme pepsin called pepsinogen. And remember, pepsinogen can float around forever, it doesn't make any difference, because unless it's activated, it isn't going to digest the protein. But it is activated because the parietal cells, or the fourth part of that gastric gland, produces HCL. And the HCL is the activator of pepsinogen to form pepsin. And once pepsin is formed, then you have the active enzyme that will actively start attacking protein. And let's just say, for instance, you know, you've eaten a big meal and you've got all these things going on, you've got mucin protecting you, your esophagus, your stomach, your your whole GI tract, that's great, but also you've got this active pepsin that is now being, uh, being attacking the food. And that's important, that's very good. You want it to be that way. But in other cases, such as in certain diseases, uh, emotional problems, uh, anxiety, just many, many diseases, you will get people that are going to be you know, producing HCL on their own without food being in the stomach. And so what happens there when the body starts producing hydrochloric acid and then of course you've got the pepsinogen being converted to pepsin, now you've got an active proteolytic enzyme in an area that doesn't have food, so guess what? It's going to attack your cells, it's going to go after the stomach, it's going to go after the duodenum, wherever it is. What's going to protect you though is mucin. That's why mucin is there. Mucin is there because it coats that area. And so think of mucin once again as a shield, bulletproof vest, whatever you want to call it. The nice thing about mucin is it's not interfering with anything because many of these drugs out there, they stop HCL production. They call hydrogen ion blockers, proton blockers. They can cause a lot of side effects, and they do. And in future installments, we'll talk about some of those. But Right now, for, the, for this purpose, what mucin is doing, it's protecting all those cells. And mucin is produced in a certain part of the cell where it channels up into the epithelial area and, and, and protects everything. And so you can have the HCL being there actively converting pepsinogen to pepsin and having the mucin there protecting the, all the cells. And this is the way it's supposed to be this is a healthy gastrointestinal tract is when you have all that going on. So that is very, very important to understand how the mucin is produced, why it's produced, and why it protects us, and why this is extremely important, in other words, this protection. And I think that particular question, or questions that's, that are very similar to that, that all have to do with mucin, I hope that clears up a lot of information that people wanted and of course misinformation which is out there 
uh, about mucin and about HCL and how these things work. Uh, I hope that really makes it clear. So you can kind of now, if you have to eat things at certain times, you know why you have to eat them. And many times people will t be told to drink milk to protect their stomach if they have an ulcer. Why? Because milk produces mucus. But of course, you don't have to do that anymore. We have so many things that really help us now. And our own body, really, if you keep it going right, it will produce mucin. And that's the important thing, keep your body functioning correctly. So until the next time, everybody have a great day, and we will see you the next time we're on.